How to get your low-quality videos upscaled to 4K Ultra High Definition In this video, we are using Premium Pro, one of the most well-known video editing softwares, and A of Video Enhancer, the rising trend of video quality improving technology, to do a test. We will use we will three use different three footages different to compare the effects they have on upscaling videos. If you do love this content, please like and subscribe videos. our channel for more. If you do now let's love begin. This These to the three footages we saw in the beginning. Two of them are 360p, which is a very low resolution, and one of them is a black and white footage. We will try to upscale them to 4K resolution and also colorize the black and white video. Open Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's start with the portrait video. As we know it is a 360p video. To upscale it to 4K, we need to create a new sequence. Change the frame size to 3840 by 2160, which is 4K, and hit OK. Now we can drag the footage to the timeline. The 360p video looks so small in the 4K size. Next, we want to right-click the clip and click Set to Frame Size. Now the footage has filled up the 4K frame. We only change the size, the video quality is still not very good. To improve the quality and make it look clearer, what we usually do is to sharpen the video. In the color setting, we can increase the sharpen value. We can see slightly difference when we add the sharpen value, but it shouldn't be too much, otherwise the footage would become unnatural. We may also increase some contrast. Alright, we import the original footage to the timeline, and here is the difference. Before, after, before, after. Slightly improvement. Next, let's see how A of Video Enhancer would work. We are using Kidpaw Video Enhancer, a powerful video quality improving tool with AI technology. Import the portrait footage. We can see the original size is 360p. On the right side are 4i model which can handle most cases in your video. Hover the mouse on them and we can see a short guidance indicating how they work. We may select the most suitable one to apply. Usually, General Denoy's model is perfect for most cases. Then see choose 4K as the target resolution. You may also customize the size up to 8K, then set the format as MP4. Click Preview Effect. The AI will start processing 45 frames of the video to help you decide if the result is good enough to use. We can see the video is running frame by frame. We can pause it and zoom in to take a closer look at the details. Indeed, the enhancement is obvious. We can see the girl's face has become much clearer than before, her eyes, lip, and other object included, like her hair and the video is looking natural. We are exporting both video from Premiere Pro and Hitpaw Video Enhancer and compare the two videos after upscaling. Personally, the A of Video Enhancer is looking better and more natural. Let us know which one you think is better in the comment. Now we want to colorize this black and white footage. In Premiere Pro, it doesn't seem to have this kind of feature. All we can find is to use the color grading, change the color tone, adjust the color wheels, trying to give it some colors, but these are not really colorizing the footage, it just add a color tone to it. Back to Hitpaw Video Enhancer. Import the black and white footage. We can see a colorized model on the right side, perfect for colorizing and restoring old videos. We can also upscale it to 4K resolution while colorizing. Now let's preview the effect. Amazing! It actually add detailed colors to the footage, and they match quite well with the video. We don't know what's the real color of the scene, but this color is looking natural and trustworthy. Anyway, we do like the effect. Tell us your thoughts about colorizing video in the comment. Next, we are upscaling the cat footage, because it is a vertical aspect ratio. We will create a vertical 4K resolution in Premiere Pro, then do the same thing to upscale it to 4K size. We will quickly skip this process. 
It's looking better. Back to HitPaw Video Enhancer. Again, we are using General Denoise model to upscale the video to 4K. Looking good. And there is the result after exporting. On our opinion, the AI Enhancer does a better job with more details and natural movements. Let us know which one you like better in the comment. Alright, that's the video for today. After the test, do you prefer using the traditional way with Premiere Pro or using AI-powered video enhancer to upscale your video? Indeed, both methods have their pros and cons. When it comes to actually improve video quality, we'd recommend using AI Video Enhancer. If you also like trying the AI Video Enhancer, find the free download link in the description and try it yourselves. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe us for more contents like this. See you next time.